Hey y'all, it's Mel Spells from Superficial Gallery and welcome to 31 Days with the King. Um, each day for the month of October, we are going to take a work by Stephen King and we are going to discuss it. Um, what better month to do so than the uh, month of horror by the master of horror. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with episode one. And the title of this episode is Cockadoo, What Do You Think About Misery? So, Misery is one of my favorite novels by Stephen King, and it is because who doesn't love Annie Wilkes? And who hasn't just been in love with someone famous before, right? I'm not suggesting that you cut their legs off or you um, try to run over anyone with a lawnmower. Disclaimer. So, uh, Misery is about a former nurse named Annie Wilkes who finds her favorite author, um, Paul Sheldon, on the side of the road after he has had an accident in his car in the snow in Colorado. She takes him back to her home and she nurses him to health. And as kind of a show of gratitude, he decides to let her take a look at his latest manuscript for the character Misery Chastain, which is the main character in the novels that um, Annie is such a big fan of. So while this is kind of going down, here's some backstory on Paul and Misery. Paul is quite frankly tired of writing about Misery. It's a Victorian era series. And so his latest book is about her death because he's ready to move on. He's ready to explore different genres um, in writing. So obviously this is going to upset Annie because again, Misery is her absolute all-time favorite and the reason why Paul is her, you know, favorite guy and she's his number one fan. Um, so she comes in, demands to know why he plans on killing Misery. He tells her and she basically holds him captive, doesn't give him his pain medication. She doesn't give him food or water until he rewrites this manuscript and, of course, doesn't kill Misery off, has her keep living on. Um, maybe ending up with the man of her dreams, you know, giving her something other than a death to end the series. So while uh, Paul is doing this, you know, Annie, she very seldom leaves him alone, but there are a few times when she needs to run into town to get supplies like a typewriter for him to use, paper, etc. Um, and during these times, Paul kind of roams about the house in his wheelchair. On one of his outings, he finds a scrapbook. And in this scrapbook, he learns that Annie is a little bit more than just his biggest fan and just upset over the demise of misery. She's actually a serial killer. She once worked at a hospital where there were several unexplained mysterious deaths, a number of them, most of them were infants. She was charged and tried, but she was acquitted. And um, so basically everyone in the town knows that she's a little cuckoo, but um, they kind of just, you know, let her live out in her cabin and, you know, be by herself. So once Paul learns this, he kind of maybe starts to realize his mortality. Like, I don't know, even if I give her this ending that she wants, am I going to get out of this alive? He is a smart man because she pretty much isn't going to let him get out of it alive. Um, a police officer comes out to look for him. She disposes of him, gets rid of him fairly quickly. Um, the book ends with um, Annie, of course, not making it and Paul um, getting out and kind of just trying to cope with PTSD that came along with his experience from Annie. Now, Castle Rock is season two. They are doing the tagline for it is Misery Arrives. If you've seen the trailers, you'll know that we are still in Castle Rock, um, Jerusalem's lot, Salem's lot. 
um, vicinity and uh, we are going to be getting a, a closer and different perspective on um, Annie Wilkes herself. So that's going to be very interesting. We um, also know that Tim Robbins is going to be starring in this. So that's super exciting. We know him from Shawshank. And of course, Shawshank is also, um, at least from the previews, being shown to also be in this season as well. Um, if you haven't checked out Castle Rock Season 1, it is excellent. I highly recommend it. If you are looking for a companion podcast to go along with Castle Rock, Histor uh, Castle Rock, please check out Castle Rock Historical Society. It is hosted by Hannah Selector and Acadia Einstein. They are both lovable. Um, they do amazing jobs recapping the show. So check them out on any of the popular platforms that you can find your podcasts on and get ready and gear up because they will be at it for season two of um, Castle Rock coming out at the end of October. Um, I mentioned earlier that we are on the heels of It Chapter 2. We do have a post up on the gallery with a review and Hannah and Acadia also did a review on the podcast for that as well. So um, I hope that you enjoyed our first episode of 31 Days with the King. Um, somehow failed to mention that this was also made into an amazing film starring Kathy Bates um, and James Caan, Rob Reiner directed. It did get Kathy Bates an Oscar and it was deservedly so because she did an amazing job portraying Annie Wilkes. So tune in for our next episode and we'll talk to y'all then. Again, go to superficialgallery.com. Subscribe to get the latest news on any horror updates, anything like that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell for the notifications. And we'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. Aww.